Jordan isn't the only country asking the UN for help. There are dozens of sites from all over the world hoping to make it onto UNESCO's latest World Heritage List. Earlier this week, we told you about a meeting that's happening in Poland right now to choose who will make the final cut. And here's a look at some of the nominations. Archaeologists in Germany have been discovering some of the world's oldest items. A 40,000-year-old mammoth ivory female figure, a head of a horse, and an ivory flute, which is one of the world's oldest musical instruments, are among them. And these are some of the earliest examples of mankind's figurative art. There are six caves in two different valleys, the Lona Valley and the Ak Valley, and these caves are important because they produce the most abundant, richest and oldest record of early artworks and also musical instruments, along with a whole range of other innovations that are part of the cultural development at the time when modern humans spread across Europe and Neanderthals go extinct. Hence, they're of outstanding universal value and fill the criteria that UNESCO has for World Cultural Heritage status. The excavations in the region started back in the 1930s. And so far, many artifacts have been found. Personal ornaments, musical instruments and human figures are among them. These innovations from 40,000 years ago, these pieces of jewellery, the artworks and also these figures and musical instruments together show us that humans in this age had developed symbolic thinking and ritual ideas. That's the special thing. It's the first time that we have this in such complexity and also in such high numbers in a region. The German Ice Age art caves are among 34 sites nominated for this year's World Heritage List. UNESCO committee members are now meeting in Poland to make their choices.